Okay, so today we are going to show you how to use a water trough to collect gas. Um, so what we have here is a mason jar completely full of water to the very tip top. And we're gonna show you how to flip it into the water trough. So you're gonna use a laminated note card and you're gonna slowly, while pushing down on it, flip that into the trough, okay? And there is a hole that we're gonna center the jar over. Yeah. And notice you shouldn't, maybe you have like one or two air bubbles, but really there shouldn't be a lot of air in the jar. Okay, so we're gonna come over here. We have our sidearm flask. It already has our calcium carbonate powder. We're gonna quickly pour acid into the flask and then put the stopper on. You'll notice that the gas is now going into the jar. To stimulate the reaction a little bit, we can go ahead and swirl the flask to make sure all the powder is exposed to the liquid. Once the reaction stops bubbling, we will assume it has reached its end point. Okay, so what we're gonna try to do, we are going to mark where the water level stops. So if it's below the water level, we would have to raise that up a little bit, but this time it's not. Um, so go ahead and using a Sharpie, mark the water level of the mason jar. Okay, that should be good. All right, so pull it out. That's fine. Now we're going to go to the sink and we're going to fill the mason jar up to that line we just marked. Okay, so know that these jars can fit about 300 milliliters in them. So our graduated cylinders only go up to 100. So what we'll have to do is if we have more than 100, you need to stop at the 100 line. Then we would dump that water out and continue measuring. So you might have to add multiple values together. So you might have a gradu two graduated cylinders full of 100, so that's 200 milliliters, and then you might have a third full with like 20 milliliters. So that'd be 220 milliliters of gas that we collected, okay? 